What's up everybody, this is David aka The Jumbo Bunny, and today we are playing a little Stranded Deep. I'm just now getting everything set up and configured with this new PC, and I've really... I haven't wanted to go too crazy with games, because I know I've got a huge catalog to get to, but this game, being released early access, something about it just... I had to try it and so far I have barely tinkered with it I've, I've let it run for a little bit I've kind of seen set up I've read a little bit about the crafting system of this game if you haven't understood if you haven't read a lot about it or understand a lot about it this game is a survival game basically you're stranded now I know that there are a lot of comparisons to the forest I've heard those complaints and those criticisms but this is very early on if you look down on the bottom left corner it says alpha version 0.01 that means it's incredibly early in the development cycle and already even with it with its faults this game has really delivered on a lot of its promises and i think people are going to really enjoy this once it's once it fully makes it out and in full release candidate so let's get started yes because that is an old game yes that was just me tinkering around. And here we go. You know it's a bad sign when the first thing you see is you're on a plane and there's turbulence. Ooh. Yeah, so now I've got to find a serving trolley and make myself a martini. I'm sorry. In, in this kind of weather, is that really a good idea? Okay, so... When you see the little drop-down menu or the little drop-down symbol beneath a, an object, that means that there's something you can craft from it. That's what I've figured out so far. So yeah, I'm gonna make a martini. Open your inventory and select a lighter. <laughs> okay, I, I'm, I've had a few martinis in my day. I've never set one on fire. Ugh. So yeah, now I'm gonna guess, stumble back to my seat. It's gonna be a long flight. Something tells me it's not gonna be as long as they wanna make it seem. Whoa. So I've noticed a, a, there's a lot of uh, it's some animations missing. I wouldn't say a lot, but there are quite a few animations missing. Holy shit, here we go. See, told you. Not happy. Oh, yeah. And I'm underwater. Okay. So I have to get to a life raft on the surface. So you might think that you might be able to grab some of this gear or some of the things that you see. No, they just really want you to get out and you can't even make it. So that dude just, he splattered all over the windshield. So I don't think I'm going to be able to help him. surface of a life raft and now it goes cutscene. Boom! And here we are. This will be the setting for pretty much the whole game from this point forward. If you need a lot of, of different whoa shark if you need a lot of things to be different and a lot of changing scenery, this game might not be for you. So what I understand about this game from having done some reading on it is that each island is going to have basically different types of resources or maybe one resource there might be more abundant than other islands. But the idea is, is that you're going to have to set up basically a camp at one of the islands and that's going to have to be your jumping off point for exploring some of the rest. 
as you can see, some of the, the plants, like the, the yucca, and uh, I think that you've got your palm trees, these are ones that you can harvest materials from, whether it be sticks or like, like the yucca. You can see that they have lashings. With the crafting system the way it is, you have to have lashings, wood, and stone. Those are going to be your three main you know, components of building pretty much anything you want, whether it be tools or whether it be uh, shelter. Anything like that is going to basically be comprised of those three materials. You can see that there are crabs. You're going to actually you're going to be able to eat the crabs. You're going to have something to eat, so. You're going to eat crabs. There, on some of the islands, you're going to see, like, potato plants. And you're, you just munch on raw potatoes. So, you can scavenge some sticks. Yeah, I think I, yep, there's a potato plant and a stick. So, right now, I'm just going to gather what I see around. We got we to gotta make do. We got to make good out of a bad situation. So I'm thinking maybe this might be a good spot to set up camp. It is a little farther away from a lot of the stuff. I don't know. So stones. I have read that stones, like having enough stones to do all the building and crafting and everything that you want to do is a little difficult right now. And that it might be necessary for you to leave the island that you're on to go and get stones. So that's that's a little troubling. But we'll see. This again is incredibly this is early early alpha and we're going to see what we can make out of this. So what I'll probably do eventually is I will move over move the boat over. For right now I'm just going to gather some materials up. Oh, looks like I'm full. Uh, potato plant. I know one thing I need to do. I need to drink some water. Another neat little aspect of this game, neat little feature is... There you go. So you can actually look, see what time it is. And on top of that, you can see how many days you survived. Then you can look at all your statistics, your vitals. Which is pretty awesome. Your hydration and your health, that's pretty sweet. So I thought that was a neat touch. All right. So one of the big things that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make primitive tools. That's going to be a necessity. Now what you have to have for primitive tools, I've already got them in my possession from having just walked around for a few minutes. So let's chunk out some of our gear that we've already picked up. Some of those. And some of those. So the first thing I need to do, as again, you can see that the crafting menu is now available for us. And there you go. You can have a crude axe and a crude hammer. Hammers are really important when you're having to build your settlement, or build your, your structure that you're going to, your shelter that you're going to be using. So now I've got an axe. Now I can chop down some trees. Let's start with the small one right here. We need to, we need to get, get set up. There we go. Timber. So you, it's going to break into different pieces, and then you're going to be able to, to harvest sticks and palm fronds, which again are both important for doing things like making fires and building your shelter, making a roof over your shelter. You need palm fronds. Oh, there we go. And another cool feature is. Uh, you can actually use the coconuts. You're gonna, you can actually get water from the coconuts as well as food. So let's, let's check that out. Oh, very cool. It's a coconut and boop. So now, oh, I gotta, got too much gear. Let's throw this down for a second because I'm gonna need to drink some coconuts. Yeah, there we go. That's the good stuff. I'm probably pretty darn thirsty right now. One thing that you will notice is that with your different things that you have, uh, with your tools, 
they are going to wear out. So that's something that you have to be a little concerned with. There we go. There's our coconut. And another cool thing. If you watch. They haven't added the, the animation or anything for the cuts. But there you go. So now you've got water and food. So coconuts, while they might not be a lot of sustenance, they're going to help you out. Probably not a good idea to, to eat the husk too. But, I don't know. Let's pick that paddle back up. The last thing I want to do is run off without that. So let's unload some of our gear so we can do some more searching. I just kind of like having them all together. Maybe it's me being anal retentive, but just want to have everything together so I can kind of make sense of it. Because you need to know how many rocks you have or how many sticks you have. That's that's really important. I really do want to see how many rocks are on this particular item. Because right now you can't break off pieces of rock. That was kind of upsetting when I saw that. Because I said, well, that would make it easy. No, nope, no, nope, they're not going to make anything on you easy. So... From walking around, it looks like stones are going to be a little hard to come by. Which is... Not good. So... Let's just get started. I think we want to build, at least set up our our uh, campfire. We're going to have to cook. Supposedly, there is some way that you can purify your water. I haven't learned exactly how you do that. So, it's going to be something that we figure out on our own. I try to not read a lot about things, so I can get... I don't want to get too many hints. It kind of ruins the, the discovery of the mechanic. And here we go. I think we're going to be doing a lot of this in this game so far. There's no real quick shortcut to it. You just kind of have to do your time. Do your penance. Shopping trees. Let's head back out here. I don't want to deforest the whole island. Drop those. And let's drop these. Now, I know we have enough for a fire. Yeah. Fire. Campfire. And let's smack that right there. So, we've got enough for a hammer. Hammers we will need for building, as I understand. So, I don't know if I should make one now. Ooh. Probably should. We need a shelter. Might not be super important right this very second, but we're going to have to have one started. You can also use this, if you take it out to the water, you can actually build a raft. Sweet, isn't it? And you can build it off the ground, or you can build it on the ground. So, I don't know. Let's see. Build it off the ground a little bit. And then, looks like we are out of... Out of sticks. So let's get chopping. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. See, look at the coconuts fall off the tree. That's awesome. I'm gonna have to start hoarding coconuts. It's really a good idea to basically take stock of what your island can support. I, like I said, I did notice that we had some potato plants, which is good, because we're probably going to need those. Those are a quick source of food, and it does regenerate, which is also an incredibly positive thing. Let's get some more palm fronds. We'll need to build supports. Which just takes one stick, I think. And then we'll have to start with our roof. That way we'll have a structure that we can get inside. And believe it or not, I think that you can actually somewhat get 
sunburned. I think you can actually see it when you pull up your arm. See, I'm starting to get like, more red. I think you actually get like blisters and stuff, which is pretty sweet. I think they have a lot of big plans for this game. So I, just from the early, the onset of playing it, I'm pretty darn excited. Load these things and gotta get out your hand. Well, might as well unload the palm fronds too. There we go. Let's pull out our hammer. And nope. Oh, what we need to do is we need to move these over here. And that way it'll let us do the supports. I have to be close to it. There we go. So supports. I want a wall, have to or I want a roof, I have to build supports. I don't necessarily know the benefits, I mean aside from the obvious, of building walls, but I know having a roof is probably important. Or I would think it would. So place that there. Chunk that back down. So let's see, can I can I build a roof with what I've got? Yes, I can. Isn't that nifty? Pretty damn sweet if you ask me. And there you go. So now we have our we have our campfire, we have our structure. Now, move all this closer together. So now one thing that we need to do, we definitely need to get some more materials. Still got to build a bed. At nighttime, you need to sleep. It's just part of the deal. And you've got energy that you have to, to build up. Now, I have also read that there are going to be shipwrecks that are going to be nearby, and that is actually a place where you can go and get different types of tools. Like, you can find boxes in, in those shipwrecks that might have a real axe that holds up better than the primitive one that we made. Or, you know, it might have... Uh, I've, I've heard goggles exist in the game, although I don't really know exactly what purpose they would serve. They do exist. Alright, so, crude axe, I've already got one of those right now. So let's see, we need to be able to build a bed, and I bet I'm going to need way more in the way of sticks. I think that's going to be important. This is a nice big one, let's, let's take down this palm. Hopefully the, the primitive axe holds out. I've only got a couple of other stones left. Ooh. Check that up while I'm at it. Now there are some glitching that I've uh, read about with the boats or the little rafts. They have some issues. So sometimes going to the other islands can be a little more harrowing than you would probably like. But again, early alpha, you have to be understanding of that. Well, are we going to get a wicked... Oh, the sun's going down. I bet we're going to get an awesome sunrise or sunset. One of the things that I've noticed is that the lighting is done really, really well. You can actually see the way that the light kind of goes through the trees. It's a very cool little effect. Although, maybe I just get bogged down on minutia, but I think that's cool. Yeah, and then, like I said, I need to start hoarding some coconuts. Need some cocoa nuts. Pull up. Oh, there we go. Come on. 
sit down and just soak it up. Oh, that was... That was it. Oh, it seemed a little abrupt. Alright. Let's unload more, um, more sticks. There we go. Bed. And you can only sleep at nighttime. You can't build the bed under the structure, which I find to be a little weird. So, I'm just gonna set it right here. Let's get this fire started. I need to be proactive, and I need to go kill some crabs. We have got to eat something. And you can't just eat the crabs. You have to cook them. Crabs are not going to be something I can survive on indefinitely. Yeah, cook some potatoes and crabs. But it's good to kind of get you through the hard times until we can try to find some other source of food. There you go, Mr. Crab. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. All right. You know, crabs, it's more fun, it's, it's more work, like, picking them, you know, apart and shelling them than it is actually eating them. Some people, yeah, it's not worth it for them. All right. So I think we're all full. Let's go dump some crabs and let's have ourselves a little cookout before we shut down for the day. Yeah, there we go. Throw our crabs down. So we got three nice sized crabs. And check out what you can do. You take it and you put it on the fire and you cook them. How cool is that? Otherwise, they'll make you sick. Oh no! Never gonna cook on the ground. Uh, it looks like I'm only gonna be able to do one at a time. I just don't want to burn my crab. I think it'll be okay. So let's head over here. Might as well grab another. Saw some rocks over here. Oh no. What? I'm all loaded up. Potatoes and crabs. Alright. Take those and bring those back over here. As I understand, the rocks do not respawn. Which is a little, little scary. Like I said, that's going to force you to do some more exploring, which we are definitely going to do. This, this crab should be done. There we go. And I, and I did... Oh, I got sick. I didn't let it cook long enough. Ah, oh, too impatient. Let's see if I can maybe get two on there. Yeah, I think, I think that'll work. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna attempt three. So... Right now, it's been a long day. So what we're going to do is we are going to get some food. We are going to try to rest up. What are you doing, crab? Where do you think you're going? I think both of them fell. No, because you can build a spit. That way you don't have to really worry about it very much. You just kind of set it on there and leave it. Set it and forget it. Do I have to just stand there and hold it? it kind of appears like I do.
this is definitely going to be why building a spit eventually is important. You have to. I know you have to build a, a fire pit, which takes a lot of stone. Right about now, I really wish I had a beer. And I don't really know if there's a specific time or if it's just arbitrary. Let's test it. See if it makes us sick. If it does make us sick, we'll, we could be in trouble. Oh. Oh, I think we're good. Now while we're waiting, let's get some water from a coconut. Yeah, here we go. Here's some nice coconuts. Not a lot, but it's going to keep us alive. Our crab should be done. Oh! Didn't leave it long enough. Uh oh. Well, while that last crab is cooking, we are gonna we're gonna wind down for the evening. I'm thrilled that everybody that's watched this video so far. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you actually give this game a shot. Even though it is early, this game has a ton of, of wonderful upsides, and I really think this is going to be a lot of fun for people.